Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to unbox and review the Tovatec Mira light and camera set that we've just launched on our website. I think this is a really, really great concept because it's a thousand lumen torch with a built-in 1080p HD camera, which I think is an amazing thing. So at the back of here, it gives you the breakdown of everything that the, the torch does, shows you that it's a video camera as well as the different torch settings. This being a spot beam as well as a video beam as well. So let's slide it out to see what's going on over here. And I'm gonna open it up. Comes in this really cool box. It says Tovatec Mira. It's got a picture of a light. And a camera. Okay, it's got a little carry section over there, which is great, but this is mainly to protect the torch itself. If I zip this out to see what's going on inside, you see it's got an instruction manual. And this is quite a useful instruction manual because it actually shows you all the settings that you've got and what you can expect as far as the unit's concerned. So we're going to fold it up, just put it out a shot over there. Here's that torch, I think is cool. Look at this thing, it's quite a beast of a torch. It's a thousand lumen torch. We're going to get back to that in uh, one second. It comes with a charger over there and on the inside you've also got your USB charging cable so that can plug in over here. You can then charge this off a uh, cigarette, cigarette lighter connector off your laptop. Um, wherever you need to find a, a USB to, to charge it, I think that'll be great. Comes with this really fat chunky battery. This is one of the, let's just confirm it, that's it, a 26650 rechargeable battery. You can get replacements quite easily as well. You get a set of double O-ring replacements over there. And then you've got your lanyard, which can attach to the back mold section of this torch. We can just fit that on so you can hang on to it. So that's really great as far as those products are concerned. It's gonna move him out the shots over there so we can start working with the torch. So the torch itself, you can see it has a number of lenses at the front. You've got your spot beam and your video beam, and then there is the camera lens itself. It's quite a chunky torch. It's made of milled aluminium, so it's got quite a solid handle at the back, but it's quite easy for you to hold this with your bare hand, or if you were wearing gloves, or even a dry suit's gloves, the button, can, the button setup over here has been clear enough that it's easy for you to get to it, even with a thick set of gloves on. Three button operation, the top one turning the torch on and off and through the modes. You've got a camera on and off button there and then a start filming and stop filming button there, which is great. So let's just twist the torch open to pop the battery in. So I've popped the battery in over there. On the inside here, you can see that's where the top of the torch connects or the battery connects. Just above that is a tiny little slot where the USB goes in. It takes one of the mini USBs. I've already put one in here, but you can see it's one of those tiny, small little mini USBs, very similar to that of the action cameras and the GoPros and the likes. So you can just go and get one of these. It's not included in the set, to be clear, not included. So let's just pop that guy in there to see what's going on. There we go, so it's popped in and then it is quite a challenge to tighten it up because the spring is quite tight at the back. So two hands required, you can twist it through, it is double o-ring sealed over there which is great. And then the torch is then operational. I'm just going to shine it to the back of the studio to see there is four light settings to this. So if I hold the light, one, two, three, to turn it on, see there is my bright um, video camera light set up over there so it's quite a soft beam that goes across if I push it one more time you can see it reduces the the brightness over there so there's a 50% reduction if I push it one more it goes to the spot beam you can see that hot spot which is being created over there now and then you push it one more time that's a dim uh, of your spot beam push it one more time goes to the video light so if you're filming this is the light that you want it on and um, if you don't want to scare the critter that you're filming, you just dim it down a little bit more depending on light conditions and then onto the spot. So this wouldn't be ideal for, fil ideal for filming with. Obviously you can see you'd have a, quite a hot spot on the section that you are filming but you can reduce it. But this you could use as your torch if you were checking out what's going on back to the video light and then hold it down and one, two, three, that will turn it off which is great. As far as turning the camera on is concerned, I'll push this button over here and I'll hold it for one, two, three seconds and then it'll start to uh, go blue. I don't know if you can see it on the camera but there's a blue light there now. When I start filming all I do is I'll hold it in for one, two, three and then that light will turn red. So one, two, three, my finger wasn't on hard enough. Uh, one, two, 
three and then it starts to flash a funky red color then you know that you are actually forming what you what you need to which is great there we go so you can see that that is now red which means that it's forming me at the moment so you know what you are forming you just turn the light on is what I recommend so hold for one two three and then you know that the camera is filming where the torch goes so this is the ideal way to tell it does not have a video screen at the back at this stage with this current model but to be honest you don't really need one because it's not practical to hold and look and film you now know that when you're filming you just follow the torch beam and everything will be sorted from the front so you can see for me to reduce the lumens there that dims it down in the video that turns it into the spot and then the dim spot and then back to the full video light and if I hold it for one two three that'll then turn it off and then to stop recording I just hold the button for one two three seconds over there and then if I just push the left button for one two three then that turns the unit off as well so that is the complete overview a really really great um, camera as well as good a quality as any of the action cameras that you've got out there so if you were looking to buy an action camera and a torch well this as a combination is just a much simpler way to do it you can use it underwater as well as if you are running around at night for any fun key adventures the torch itself is rated down to 60 meters six zero meters underwater so deeper than any recreational diver could ever plan to go so overall i think it's a really great unit so it comes with the torch itself the chunky battery on the inside the sd card not included you get the carry bag with the charges the lanyard and the double o-ring replacement set and of course your funky instruction manual and your carry box so there's the review of the Tovatech Mirror torch and camera all in one unit now available on our website. If you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or go check out our social streams. The main one being facebook.com forward slash scuba.co.za. We'll keep you up to date with all the trips and travels as well as all the promos that we've got on our website. We've also got Instagram, Twitter and all the other social lines. Go search for us. We're sure to come up with all the cool things that we do. So that's it from me guys, and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.